hard work. That's all we really want. You know what I'm right. saying? So, That's why I tell Pat, you can't compare. Shout out to all three. Man. Fifteen years of putting out an album, you gotta stop putting your man in that category. He don't sit with Jay and uh, none of that. Who are you talking about? Nah, you nah, you keep saying nah, nah, man, and Jay. Oh, you can't do that. His work, body work, is not even close, man. It's just not. Let's that. see, you not, you not respecting Nas. Nas is yeah, a Nas big Nas. time rapper. You I say it all the time. Nas is a legend. Nas is a let legend. Let me tell you Nas make like good let music. Let he can't fuck with you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It don't matter, Pat. It's always you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There's plenty of room for greatest. Greatest doesn't you have to be one. Greatest doesn't have to be one. You ain't got to be one. There's a lot of dynasties in sports. There's not one that's the greatest. You know, the Yankees have won many championships. The Lakers have won many championships. You can't say the Lakers are better than the Yankees. There's two different categories, I feel. Jay is great. Nas is a great. Big is a great. I don't think, I mean, I mean, if you well, want to sit there and discuss the great well, no, 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 well, I'm not going to do, the thing I'm telling you about Nas, Nas is a legend, one of the best Nas, rappers, but, I mean, but the thing is, when Jay puts out 15 albums in a row, and Nas puts an album about every five and a half years, it's, it's, it's questionable, bro. No, hey, you would love Nas. Nas. So what do I mean? Who does that? Because at the end of the day, who does that? Shout out to Nas, too, man. No, the content is good. Who does that, though? Yo, Pat. Pat, every studying, five years, they study it that's, that's not a good one. That's not a good one. They study it. But, 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 they study it. They study the American heart. They do that. They do. No, hold on. They do. Hold on. They do. They do. They do. No, they do. The reason was out. No, the reason was out. The reason was out. The reason was out. Listen, listen. Listen. Listen, no, the reason for doubt is studied on the streets and on every oh, business, no, no, by every no, business person, no, man, every no, entrepreneur no, is studying no, reasonable doubt to make it. He may not no, be studied no, in, in the collegiate level, he, he may not I be studied in the collegiate level, 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 but on the streets, if you want to build a business, you want to Moving along, moving along, moving along, moving along, moving along, moving along, moving along. Oh, this hour of Gary is brought to you in part by Gatorade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoever asked you to do a skit that you couldn't believe they knew who you were, yo. Oh, man. Then, I mean, like, you like Ice Cube, Queen Latifah, like, that's, that was crazy. Oh, you was like, okay. okay. Yeah, that's like insane, you know, and, and just always being prepared, too. Like, you know, that's one of the things, too, I wanted to, to convey to the people watching this, because I know there's a lot of up-and-coming next artists and, and people that follow your podcast and follow you because you've had that experience and they come here and they want to they want to learn you know that's all we really want to do i want to want to see what, what it is that, that that needs to be done to make that to get to that point and i'll tell you one of the main things just like you were is always being prepared no matter what there's not a wrong with being the sixth man on the bench i never got that where that's a disrespect somebody gets hurt something happens that man is now in the game at the most important part so you got to be ready for that. You got to prepare your mind for that. So you at home right now, you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. Be prepared for success because it will come. And when it does, sometimes if you're not prepared, you can ruin a moment like I did many, many, many times. But through the grace of, of, grace of God, I was given more opportunities, second, third, fourth and fifth chances. But had I been ready the first time, I may have been able to skip all those levels. So be ready for your success, whatever it is you're doing. Whether you're starting your own business, whether you rap, whether you're looking out for somebody else that has talent, be prepared for that success. Let me ask you something. Were you prepared for the greatness of Reasonable Doubt when you were A&R and it back then with well, everybody? I, well, I said, we Did just, you see that coming? I didn't look at it then because I was, I, I was just hanging out. You just having fun? Yeah, I didn't look at it. I was having fun. To, then, you, to you, the incentive then, was the fun part? The fun part. But then okay. when, they, when they really actually gave me a job and said, you're A&R now. Then I fucking went to work. I worked my ass. Did you notice there was a change once you were the A&R as opposed to you being the dude on the street with them? Like, was it now work? No, 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 no. It changed. It changed. But they were still my boys, but it changed. Okay. They, 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 they named me Luca Brasi because I was a workhorse. Luca Brasi. Ah! I, I, I was reliable. It's very... And, 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 and everything I do in my life, I was going to work on basketball, my business, anything. So, so you had that ethic. In I have that work ethic. My mom had a work ethic. And you instilled so. it in you. Yeah, that's all I know. But you do come from, from a Haitian home. You know, I, I have a lot of You know, Haitian home. Oh, man, work. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 no, and so, big shout out right now. You know, we're praying for Haiti yes, and all yes. that was going on. I, right I now. love that. I'm going to send you some more stuff. And I'm very disturbed by the footage of what I've seen down in Texas. You know, you're definitely in my prayers. Yeah, I'm crazy. I don't want to get activated about that. Yeah, I know. Now, now, I'm asking a question. But you're in my thoughts and prayers. Yes, yeah, shout out to Haiti. Shout out to Haiti. I love y'all. Um, give me a raw number. How many skits do you think you've done? 
Wow, I've done about maybe like in the upper 50s, 60s, you know, that's, wow. that's, a, lot. that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's what a career. career. Yeah, that, that is a lot. And, and, you know, came out of nowhere, which is crazy, you know, to, to, to have that, to even have that yes. statement that you said, a career. Yes. Wow. Like you, a and R, like that's a career. Like that's a uh, real job. Okay. You know, you, you, you're, you're on the books I now. Mean, I you're getting paid. I met a lot of people through that. So I who's straight. the most Who's the most famous person that you met that, that, that came to you and said, yo, Gary, I like the way you, you you go about your business. Would you would you work with me uh, or can you I, help me out? Can you teach me something? A lot of people, I can say, I work with so many people, artists. Bum B was a very good friend of mine. Bum B. Nori. I'm, I'm oh, here. Nori's me and really good friends. Nori's a man. Um, but somebody who blew your mind. That you were like, whoa. I can't believe this is I like, met this person. This is like got the yeah. actor in Rush Hour, Spanish girl. What's her name? Oh, Rosaline Sanchez? Yes. Wow. I, was, I was sent to Puerto Rico to, I was sent to Puerto Rico to do a hook for Cam. She had to do a hook for Cam. You forgot about that one. Day. She raps? You know, she, 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 she solo Cam on Cam so I have to go to Puerto Rico. You know what's disturbing though? Wait, let me tell you. You know what's disturbing though? You know what's disturbing, though? I've, been, I've been in a situation. I won't, I won't mention her name. I didn't know. Wait, wait, wait. I won't mention names. You know what, what was really, because that's a beautiful story. God bless her. Yeah. You ever work with somebody that you really looked up to though? You know, like her, and then like, she starts singing, and you're like, but, but it's her. She's you know what I mean? Humble, it's I her. Like, la, la, la. You're like, yeah, that sounds great, baby. You sound really good, but it's her. So you can't. I'm gonna be honest with you. God. She was a. She yeah. wasn't. She had been. Yeah. She sang, but she was a good singer though. She was a real good. But and it's bro, disturbing because you don't know how to tell these people that. I'm gonna. That's another. Well, that's another disturbing I thing I've been through. I've been in sessions with people that wanted me to do something with them, and it's like heroes. You know, like. And then you heard them. He goes the boat down the street at the store. And I'm like, damn, this guy, got to tell this guy no, man. You know, I'm about to pull up Nancy Reagan on this yo, yo, real quick, man, you know? Nancy man. Reagan on you, man. Nancy. Hey, I'm in there with Ross and Dane called me. No. <laughs> How did you go to Puerto Rico? I said, for what, man? You're going to meet Ross and Santos out there. She's going to do a hook for Santos. So beautiful. I'm in the studio, Ross. I'm not saying that about Ross and Santos. Ross, yeah, yeah, I'm in the I didn't hear you sing, baby. Ross, I'm in the studio. I'm waiting for when she comes. Yeah. Oh my God, why are you doing? Give me kisses. She don't speak English that well. She has an accent. Yeah, she was just like, I love you. I hugged her off. So, me, I'm super well, this like honor to me. Then while she starts singing, she's holding her stomach. I said, Wow. I said, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to gather myself. So, Any uh, let me get this nice no. ending story to No, hell no, man. Is this going to have a happy well, I, 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 would do, I, I, I was. I was way over my head, brother. You <laughs> was around Rosalind Sanchez. I was doing a hook for Jam in the studio. Damn, I forgot wow. the song, but yeah. Oh, they put it out though, right? I forgot about that. Shit, yeah, bro. I think that, you're wrong. You know, I never told you that, right? No, I was no, in hell yeah. Puerto Rico, <laughs> like Puerto Rico, hell yeah. It ain't on the whole so, story. So let me ask you now. Now when you watch the movie and you I know, laughing, yeah, like, yeah, right, right, remember she that. probably so, remembers she sees it. Yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, Ron forgot about it. so now. You know it's whack though. It's not that's gonna happen to you, but I'm saying it's whack when you like run into Roz and said, not her, but like somebody. Hey, brother, land. Just get security. This motherfucker out of here. Like, nah, I'm saying she don't remember me. Okay, she better. Roz, I was watching. We had a good time. She was very nice to me. Wow, he was nice we to you drinking, too. We were drinking. Apple. That song never came out. We were drinking, was drinking screwdrivers. Might be something to that. Yeah. Shut up. Okay. That song's great. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. All right.